Hey, what's up citizens, it's Prez Bocelli with another post commentary or it's a video for all of you. So the battle I had in this one was against a Twitter follower, Jack Robinson. Oh my goodness, he is really, really good. You should check him out on his Twitter page, which I'll uh, leave in an annotation and in the description below. So hey, let us get this thing started. It was a OU match. Um, well, uh, my team was pretty mixed. His was uh, definitely OU. But, oh my goodness, he knew how to use this team. Like, spoiler alert, I lost. But just how I lost was so... Like, I really want to highlight people who do really, really well. So anyways, so what happened first was uh, I sent out the Fortress, I wanted to get some hazards up, um, he sent out his Clefable, you know, I figured, eh, I got sturdy, I'll get my rocks up. But, I mean, I should have known it got the Latias on his team that had the Defog, so... <clears throat> and of course, Clefable uh, runs Flamethrower, so yeah, that, that was a thing. Uh, taken down to 1 HP. And I take the opportunity to use Rapid Spin and get those rocks off of my side of the field. Let's see, my opponent switches into the Latias, uh, doing tit for tat. Oh, you got a Rapid Spin? Well, guess what? I'm going to default. Making the turn I, I used for uh, my Rapid Spin completely useless. But hey, I took off over half of Latias' health. That was... Mm, mm. Yeah, well, that was just one gyro ball, but uh, unfortunately Latias was running the Citrus. I figured, yeah, I can switch in Fortress again, um, you know, see if I can do anything. And yeah, so I switched the Diantian, uh, gonna take this turn, uh, take an opportunity to Mega Evolve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Latias is switched out because, yeah, you don't stay in against the Mega Diancy. And here comes the Chansey, which, yeah, that's gonna stop me pretty hard. Now, I didn't know exactly what was gonna happen, so... I mean, I should have predicted the switch out, but no, instead I just protected in order to uh, get my speed to rise. Yeah, I knew... Yeah, I can't do anything with this Chansey. Um, of course, I think I might have been forgetting... Oh, I had Magic Guard. The only thing that Chansey could have done to me was Seismic Toss. But yep, yep, there. And then not Magic Guard, Magic Bounce. But yeah, I sent in the Vaporeon like a dummy. Hoping I could get a Toxic of my own, but my opponent knew better and switched in the Clefable, which does have Magic Guard, so Toxic does nothing. Yeah, basically, actually being poisoned like that is actually to my opponent's advantage because now Clefable can't be T-waved. Which would actually do something, so... Rats. Anyway, I can't do anything to this Clefable. Um, it's gonna take this opportunity to set up rocks, whereas I'm just gonna I'm just gonna see what happens. And I'm gonna get a wish up. Yeah, then lefty's recovery. Yeah, um Yeah, uh, quite a bit of the matches matches like this, uh, I'm just kinda of scouting out what my opponent's gonna be doing. You know, while uh, getting the recovery back on my Vaporeon. Let's see, there's the Moonblast. It does a pretty sizable amount because it is a crit. Mmm! Well, that's okay. I got the Wish Recovery and the Leftovers, but I am going to get a sizable portion taken off by the Poison because I've been in for a long time. You like a clean 25%. Mmm. That is very unfortunate. Okay, then I send in Fortress, just saying, um, yeah, I'll just sack it off, let it die the Stealth Rocks. I can't do anything about the rocks now. Um, my opponent takes that opportunity to use, to use a Soft Boil, get all of her HP back. Mm. So anyways, um, Yep, so uh, the Clefable is defensive, so I go for a Tri-Attack, a boosted Tri-Attack, which will be a two-hit KO. Yeah, Porygon 2, that download, mm, that can be that can be so crucial sometimes. Anyway, my opponent's going to preserve the Clefable, go out in the Chansey. I go for another Tri-Attack, hope for some hacks. Yeah, mm. Like that, that barely does anything, but I do have Psy Shock. I'm, I'm figuring, oh, hey, maybe I can hit more on the defensive side. <laughs> no. 
No, that, that evil light. But yeah, here's where I've kind of learned. If you're playing an OU, you have to have a Pokemon with knockoff. Or else you are going to get walled by Chansey. Anyways, I knew the Toxic was coming, so I just switched into Vaporeon. Yeah, my opponent can't really do anything to me, so I'm just going to use the opportunity to get off another Wish. And my opponent's probably going to think, uh, yeah, I am going to Toxic. Or not. Um, yeah, I, I, I misremembered the play there. But now instead, my opponent goes out into Rotom because, yeah, Rotom will be able to do a uh, sizable amount to me with either Thunderbolt or Volt Switch. Yeah, unfortunately, like, I can defend against my opponent, but I can't really attack my opponent. So, yeah, this... It was a losing battle for me, but yeah, my opponent made all the right plays in the right places. So yeah, I didn't stand a chance. Yep, there is the Volt Switch. That does like a clean, like 40% to Vaporeon. You're back in the chance, it can't do anything there. Except get off another wish. Ah. <sighs> more toxic damage, Ed. Yeah, just wait for the wish, get some lefties. My opponent does the same thing, knowing, oh yeah, that's what my opponent's gonna do. I believe this is the turn where, yeah, my opponent switches back into something, gets all, uh, all that Pokemon's health back, and yeah. Okay, anyways, here we're, here's where I'm like, okay, yeah, now I'm finally, finally gonna try to kill something. Yeah, the chance he switches out, I get the Clefable, which luckily can't do any super effective damage to me, and, uh, because of Diante's, uh, Mega Diante's poor, poor HP stat, it can't take many hits. Anyways, I get a Moon Blast off. That does that does over half. So I'll be able to take out the Clefable, but not without uh, getting like 60 or 70 percent done to me. Just, mm. uh, yeah. Um, I think this Clefable did have uh, some special attack investment, but then again, maybe not. Anyway, yes, I was played for quite the fool here. Because, oh yeah, I'm just gonna go for the moon blast. I'm gonna break, I'm gonna break the monkey scale. Durp, 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 durp. Nope. Mm -mm. Weakness policy. And uh, didn't bother going for a dragon dance. Nope, just the iron head. That definitely takes me out. Actually, very good to know a uh, dragonite has iron head. I thought I only got iron tail. It might be a move to the move. Anyways, I'm going into Grenade to be like, oh, oh, I can outspeed and do ice beam. No nope, extreme speed. Extreme speed weakness policy Dragonite. Yeah, I later did the did the stats after Stealth Rock. Yeah, a boosted extreme speed will take out Greninja. Mm. Very, very good counter. Anyways, I uh, send in the Porygon 2 because I should be able to resist an extreme speed and get the ice beam off. Should have done that in the first place, but nope. Oh well. Um, and also, that uh, Greninja was choice scarfed, so. Yep. And there's the B drill. Uh, yeah, could have outsped that thing with my Greninja, but nope. Not anymore. Yeah, there's the poison jab. Gonna take out my, my Porygon. Oh, and a, and a crit. Just, just sprinkle some crit right on right on top of that. Uh, right on top of my humble pie. Yep, and yeah, can't do anything at this point. So, hey. Yeah, my opponent does so well played. Um, you know, I wanted to show off this video. Just showing how a good, good battler uh, does things. So, I still had the Halucha. 
Let's see, it was actually fortunate that my opponent uh, decided to protect, because this means I can get a sky attack off, use up my power herb, and, um, yeah, get the unburden boost, so I can outspeed the Beedrill. That Beedrill's dead. Yeah, I was hoping, oh, man, maybe I'll survive one hit? <laughs> uh, but, yeah, my opponent protected, luckily. Anyway, yeah, here comes the Rotom. Can't... I can just try to do damage, but nope. And there's Volt Switch, and there I am dead. A... Uh, again, very, very good battle. Kudos to my opponent. So, hey, thank you very much for watching this video, citizens. Um, if you liked it, the logical thing to do is to click that like button. Um, it would also uh, help support me, and I really appreciate it. You can also share this video with other people if you think uh, they'll like it or they'll learn something from it. And finally, you can subscribe to this channel and follow me on Facebook and Twitter, links to which are in the description below to stay updated on my video. Again, um, check the description below for a link to my opponent's Twitter. Yeah, um, yeah I'm pretty sure he would, he'd want to do battles with you as well, if you offered. Again, thank you very much for watching. This has been President Vocelli signing off.